okay, part two. Sorry, I don't know what's going on with this camera. We're going to do this in sections. Um, having a really great hair day. Hey. Yes, I'm in the restroom, so I was attempting to get a little organized, but like I said, take it slow. But anyway, as far as the restroom is concerned, um, it takes a while because in order to pee, you got to pee in strides because your stomach muscles hurt and to use the, you know, whatever the restroom, you, it hurts. You got to, you know, try to push and the gas pains. Oh my gosh. Wow. And it feels like it's kind of stuck. Um, and then when it released, you can like, you have to move your muscles and oh my God, it, it, yeah, it struggles real. Um, let me pause for a second. So my daughter needs something and I will get back and show you my incisions and my leg edema. Um, so yeah, one moment. All right. So let me get ready so you can see my incisions. Um, here goes. There's one, two, three, four, and five. They're looking pretty good. It, uh, today, this one is the one that leaked a little bit. It's a little sore. So I'm trying to do too much. Um, yeah. So that was my incisions. Um, in order to sleep, uh, I got my pillows stacked up real nice and high, um, so that I can sleep upward. Um, I can sleep sideways. I just put a pillow underneath this part of my, I guess, roll <laughs> and kind of sleep just on this side only. The other side's a little more sore. Um, I did for the first time take a bath while I'm at home. Shower, excuse me. My suggestion for that, because it was a little difficult, is make sure that you have something down in the tub so you don't slip. Because it's going to be difficult to take a shower when you're at home. I mean, it's painful. The incisions hurt. You know, um, I just sat at the edge of the tub, you know, facing the tub inwards. I got a cup so I could pour the water on me. You know, I washed uh, everything. Um, and, you know, then uh, the only thing, and, and I, you know, stood up, of course, to wash my hair. Um, I did not face the shower to have the water pour directly on my incisions. Um, just because they're already a little sore. I don't want to, you know, aggravate them in any way. Um, you know, I've taken, as far as pain, uh, taking my, my narco, liquid narco, as needed. I'm trying not to. Um, only if the pain is like, okay, look, I'm going to need a little. So that's what I've done. Um, just because it hurt a little bit after taking a bath and taking off the bandages off my incision. Um, was a little difficult. Just let me show you again. Because that tape is on there so good with the band-aids. Um, like it just, oh, I'm going to show you again. Hold up. See right here that this raw part is because the tape of the band-aid that was around here was so on there so good that when you pull it off it kind of pulls your skin and makes it raw uh for you so that's an old scar um right here anyways but and then you know this uh you have to remember my stomach hangs a little so it, it pulls on these incisions and it hurts, um, but they look pretty good. I mean, it's to be expected. You know, this is like a, I've, I have my surgery Tuesday now when, and this Friday. So it's not like it's a lot of days after, you know, I'm healing. Um, and it's a process. But like I said, it's a process. Just take one moment at a time, one sip at a time. You know, you will get eventually you'll get into the habit of everything you have to do you know to change that you've changed your life change your stomach this is a reality and I'm a single parent so I mean I have other things to do too not just heal and worry about water and I, you know I got a three-year-old running around acting crazy um so 
just take it one day at a time, one moment at a time. Um, I cannot honestly wait until the moment where I can eat like pureed food. Like I have this chicken, amazing chicken dip. And I'll probably only be able to eat like two little crackers. But nonetheless, I'm ready to consume and chew food. It's going to be amazing. But right now, uh, I know that this is part of the process. And it's going to take a moment um, to get a regimen and get a routine. And and it's okay to be upset. And it's okay, you know, to make mistakes. And maybe you're like, oh, gosh, don't beat yourself up for not drinking so much water. Don't beat yourself up for forgetting to... I don't know, take your vitamin in the morning, not at night, whatever. Just remember, this is a process. And you're relearning your body. And you're relearning what you can eat when you can't eat. It'll be okay. And if you have any questions, um, just let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. I'm totally going to be honest about it. Oh, and girl, to top it off, I'm on my lady cycle. And that started a little bit before my surgery. So I have a lot of pains going on. <laughs> but it'll be okay. And I did it. Um, I made it through this far. Got a long way to go. My journey has only begun. And I wish you all the best. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.